Hey guys and welcome back to another vlog. So today is a super exciting day. Paul is actually starting preschool today and I didn't expect him to start this early but they had a word with me yesterday and they said they wanted to move him up to preschool because they're moving children into the toddler room and they're at a different ability than Cole is at a lower level. So they want to move him into preschool because he's doing really well with his learning, his confidence is through the roof at the minute, it's really good and he's developing really well. So they want to put him with children of a similar ability to him and preschool is the best suited to him. He's got friends in there so today he's actually going in from two. I'll pick him up from there at the end of the day and then next week is in full time. So I'm really excited for him but it's just really sad that he's grown up so much but I'm really proud of him of how much he's developing and to everybody that doubted him and said that he wasn't learning at the rate that he was meant to. Look at him now, he's thriving and I'm so so proud of him. So today I'm actually going to nip to Asda once I've dropped Cole off at nursery because I need to get a few essentials, I need to get some stuff for the fridge, I need to get some bread and all sorts of things like that. So I'm going to nip to Asda and get those bits and bobs that I need and whilst I'm in there I'm going to see if they've got any World Book Day costumes because I've been looking online for so long now. I've been able to find like the few odd one here and there but I've not really been able to find quite a bit, especially for Arbury. To be honest I don't think I'm be able to get a World Book Day outfit for Arbury so I'm going to have to get her an outfit that's just got a character on from a book or something like that but we're gonna see if we can find anything in there fingers crossed we can and hopefully we can find an outfit for Cole I have looked on Asda online they don't really have many options so I'm hoping they have some in store and if they don't I'll just keep looking online and hopefully something will pop up someone's ready to go into Asda for the first time since she was born it's gonna be your first time should we go and get you a costume say cheese we need to tighten your strap. Change your plan. We're in this one now. <laughs> so we've chosen Woody for Cole. We've chosen Arbury. She's going to be Minnie Mouse. Because we can't get her a costume. So you're going to have an outfit. Someone's very happy with a new toothbrush. So when we was in Asda, we picked up this chocolate bar. We picked up two, one for me and one for Cole. So I'm going to try on camera now. This is just the Hershey's Milk Chocolate Cookies and Chocolate. I've tried the white chocolate one and that's really nice. So I'm hoping this is just as good. Saved Cole's for when he gets back from nursery. So I can give it him as a little well done for going into preschool and doing so well today. I don't know how he's done yet, but I'm pretty sure he's probably done really well. I think I need to put these in the fridge because they've melted a little bit. Hmm. I mean... It tastes a little bit like cheap chocolate, which people in America don't really rate Hershey's anyway, but they really like Cadbury's over here in the UK. But I do want to do a video taste testing American candy and foods over there because I'm completely obsessed with anything American or anything from a different culture really. So if you do want to see those videos, do let me know because I'm really intrigued to do more of those videos and taste testing lots of different foods from America mostly, but obviously all over the world as well. I'd really like to try some food from Australia especially Tim Tams. I think they're very similar to penguin bars in the UK, so if you aren't familiar what penguin bars are, I think that's very similar to what Tim Tams are. So, I'm gonna try those. We've not actually vlogged all day. Um, we're actually not long going to go and get coal and see how we did in nursery. I'm gonna check online now, see if there's any updates, but they've not rang or anything, so I'm sure it's settled in really, really well. So mum's just nipped in to the shop so I thought I'd catch up on some YouTube videos. I don't really get lots of time to watch YouTube videos, to be fair and I really miss watching them because that's where I get a lot of my content ideas and a lot of inspiration from people that I watch but I don't really get chance to that much because I spend majority of the evening settling Arbury. I'm still needing to find a way to settle her more easily at night so if anybody has any tips let me know. Tonight I'm going to try putting one of my t-shirts near her and see if that settles her a little bit more. Fingers crossed it does. Super excited to go and get Cole. I hope he's had a really good day fingers crossed he has i'm pretty sure he has so we're gonna go and collect him now i thought my mum didn't get in the line properly but i think she has yeah near enough he's literally got stuck in the door ah it is so windy out there i'm definitely not looking forward to standing outside waiting for coal and i don't know if there's going to be a big queue but i do think we're a little bit early i know i said i didn't want to turn up early but i think we are a little bit early we're it's currently five past four so we are going to probably sit in the car park for about 15 minutes because i don't want to get him early because like i said he does have dinner at about 
quarter to four they're probably finishing it now also so i'm definitely not gonna go and get him yet i'll just wait until another parent comes so i don't look like i'm too early so we just got home from nursery someone is enjoying this chocolate bar so it's bath time tonight so we need to take them both for a bath i'm gonna let him have his chocolate and then i'll probably take them for a bath and then we'll chill out for the rest of the evening if he wants any more snacks he can have some i'm gonna look on his account and see how much of his tea is at because i did ask when we went there and when i went to collect him but they didn't know because the poster that came out with him wasn't on his table so they just told me to check online and see what is on there because it should be on there but as far as preschool goes he did really really well he went in without a care in the world it didn't bother him and they didn't even know they had him he was talking away to the staff um it was no trouble at all so yeah i'm really proud of him but i thought he was gonna have a good report anyway i've not heard anything so i did presume everything was all right thankfully but i knew he'd settle in just fine anyway he's got all his friends there like i mentioned earlier so i had no worries about that so now that i'm back home and got nowhere to go i thought i'd get into my pajamas it's super windy out there it's not that cold it's just cold when it's windy but it's starting to warm up a lot more recently which i'm really happy about because that cold burn that we had for a few weeks was hell it was so so cold and my house was absolutely freezing and now my house is bearable in the morning when i wake up and it's not absolutely freezing so the kids are just having a snack cole has demanded that he has cheerios he loves dry cereal at the minute i'm sure he's not the only kid i have heard that a few other kids do like dry cereal as well so he's having a bowl of cheerios Aubrey's having some cheese and herb pea snaps i think they're called from aldi that we got in our haul if you watch that you'll know what i'm on about that yummy <laughs> do you like those You've still got a face full of chocolate, haven't you? I've got no idea what he's watching, but hopefully it's kid friendly. We've had a few things on the TV recently that aren't kid friendly, and I've had to quickly change the channel. Does anybody else or child think it's absolutely the most amusing thing in the world when they nearly choke on their food? Because Aubrey finds it absolutely hilarious. Whereas me, for example, it honestly worries me so much. She's always been a baby that gagged quite a bit. She's not as bad now, but when she first started weaning, it was absolutely horrific. And there is certain foods that I do try to avoid giving her because I panic that she's going to choke. And I know that she's got to get used to different foods, different textures. But obviously, it's a really worrying process. If you're a parent, you'll know that. But it is really scary to watch your kids eat and near enough choke. I'm now just going to get a little bit of cleaning done. I'm going to clean my sofa, which I do about every week. And I use elbow grease, thank you to Facebook. Somebody actually asked how they clean their sofa. And I've never really known what to use to clean it. Uh, but people have said elbow grease and it's recommended for quite a lot of things. So that's what I'm going to use to clean the sofa. The kids are occupied playing with cars. When I was in the kitchen sorting out all my cleaning products that I needed, Cole was helping Aubrey get some cars. She's currently sat in her high chair and he gave her a massive one and it got stuck in her high chair so I had to rescue her and it took me forever to get it out. Then I trapped my finger and it was just not a pleasant experience but we got it out and now he's using her bouncer as a racetrack which he's making good use of. So I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. I've just put Aubrey to bed and I'm going to quickly put Cole to bed because if I do it right at the same time as one another my night is most likely going to be successful if I wait even five minutes my night turns out horrendous so I'm going to end this vlog here if you guys did enjoy please smash a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel I'd be extremely grateful and if you haven't already please hit the notification bell notify every single time I upload a video and I will see you on my next video